Hi, this is Lisa with CrochetMore.com. In part three of our tutorial on making our basket weave coaster pattern, we're beginning with row four, which instructs you to turn your work. You're going to work a slip stitch around the back of the first double crochet. And to do that, you're just going to work in between these two stitches. Because that would be considered working around the back of that post. For it's on the end, it's just a little awkward. Now you're going to make three chains. Now you work a back post double crochet around each front post. So these facing you are considered front post stitches. So you're going to work a back post double crochet around each of those two. Now, the instruction says you work a front post double crochet around each of the back post double crochet. So, the ones that are facing away from you, or where you, the stitches that come up out of the horizontal bar, you can see that's raised, those stitches you're going to work a front post. So, you're going to come over from the front side and work a front post double crochet around that back post double. For each of those three back posts, you're going to have a front post around each. Now what this does, this starts to really form the basket weave. Because you can see you have vertical stitches here. Then you have horizontal stitches. And out of these horizontal stitches are coming the vertical stitches again. And that makes it look like it's weaved. So the next three stitches are front posts. You're going to work a back post around each of those. And you're going to work a front post around the next three back post stitches. And a back post around the last three front post stitches. And that completes row four. For row five, you're going to repeat the exact same thing you did for row three. So you're going to turn your work. You're going to work a slip stitch around the front of that first stitch. And you're going to make three chains. And you're going to work a front post double crochet around each front post double crochet and a back post around each back post. So the ones that appear vertical are front post. So you're going to work a front post double crochet around those two. A back post double crochet around the next three back post double crochet. front post double crochet around the next three front post double crochet. Back post double crochet around the next three back post double crochet. And Drop that stitch. Try that again. Now the last three stitches, you do a front post double crochet around each of those. And that is row five. So row six, you're going to turn the work over. You're going to work a slip stitch around the back of that first double crochet. So you go 
around and through and then chain three now you're going to work a back post double crochet around each back post double crochet and a front post double crochet around each front post double crochet so the first two are back posts so you're going to work a back post around each of those then you're going to work a front post around the next three th front post double crochet stitches back post around the next three back post double crochet try that again and front post double crochet around the next three front post double crochet And your very last three stitches are back post double crochet so you work a back post around each of those and that completes row six so you can see the basket weave 